Falcon Ranch. What's going on, Falcons? Mr. Mac here, uh, Kilauea Volcano, the caldera. Uh, we're here at the latest eruption. She started erupting again back the end of uh, December. And uh, here it is, the glow of the volcano. We're at the top of Kilauea, about 5,000 feet. And you can see the lava lake down there at Halema'uba'u. Um, we're here, it's a uh, high iron content, so basaltic lava flows. And you can see the uh, sulfur dioxide gas plume right there. Just uh, unbelievable sunrise here at the volcano. Ah. Yeah, the sun's starting to come up now. You can see the, the gas right there from the Halima'uma'u vent coming out. And uh, you can see all the steam vents along the edge of the crater rim. And this is all uh, part of the new eruption because this part here used to not exist two years ago and then the whole crater floor collapsed. And just to give you an idea, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty high up. I mean, it's hard to get the, uh, the depth here, but you're looking you know, a couple hundred feet drop right there. And then down into the caldera of the volcano. And then you have the gas vent right there, Halima'uma'u, and that's where the glow was. And if the sun's starting to come up, it's starting to kind of light up the crater floor a little bit. You can see all the lava flows that made up the crater floor. Come over here. You can see all the gas vents because the, the lava right underneath there is heating up the, the groundwater, causing the steam vents. You can start to see the other side of the crater rim just a little bit all the way over there. And actually, it's over a mile in diameter, so we call this a caldera. And we're at the top of Kilo, Kilauea, which is a shield volcano. Just to kind of give you an idea, and zoom out a little bit here. You can see how we're just along the crater or the caldera rim here. And then again, back down there, nice deep. See where the, it's dropped. The whole entire volcano is slumping down to the floor of the caldera with all the lava flows and all the steam vents. Just unbelievable morning. Beautiful sunrise. There's David, we're walking around. But right above David's head, let's see if I can uh, zoom in here. Right up there, yeah, you can see him just a little bit, but like right there's Mauna Kea. And the little white dots that you see on Mauna Kea there are actually the observatories, like the Keck, Subaru, and uh, the Gemini telescopes. But what's really cool is right along this, oh, that, I mean, that's really cool, don't get me wrong. Right along here, this is the slopes of Mauna Loa, which is also another active shield volcano. You can see it right there. That's a huge mountain, even though it doesn't look like it. And then Mauna Kea, the one I showed you guys with the observatories, another shield volcano. So we're seeing Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa from the top of Kilauea. So that Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea are almost 14,000 feet, which is kind of crazy. There you go. Booyah! Hawaii Volcanoes. What's up, fam? What's up, David? Bryce, what's going on? Adele, hey. Hi. Cassie, Jovi, flopping her hair around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, volcano! All right, here we are uh, near the volcano house on the uh, caldera rim of the volcano. You can see the steam vents coming off the side there. A geothermally heated water from the volcano. Looking down into the Kilauea crater and you can actually see the gas kind of a change in color right there. That is the sulfur dioxide coming out of the Halima'uma'u vent, the lava lake that uh, showed you guys the video of from this morning. So you can see the, the volcanic gas is coming out and you know, when the volcano is erupting it causes a volcanic fog called VOG which has caused a little bit of haze out on the uh, western side of the island out there by Kona. But there you go. Um, beautiful view. Just amazing view of the Kilauea volcano the top of the caldera um freaking unbelievable i love this place ah! all right what's up ranch mac here um 
Kilauea volcano, we got some steam vents, little geothermal energy here. So the rainwater and groundwater flow down into the ground, gets heated up by the molten rock, and then whoosh, out comes the steam. Um, yeah, I got Jovi on the video. Come on over here, Jovi. You don't need to come all the way in, but uh, you, you can feel. Oh, facial, it's so warm. See, I got fog on my glasses, all right. But you can see some of the mineral deposits there too because the volcanic gas has sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and when it comes up out of the ground, it cools, and you can see the crystal deposits in there. So um, the geothermal energy is really what this is. And ancient cultures that live around volcanoes would use steam vents to actually cook their you know, potatoes and meat and things like that. So uh, it's a little geothermal energy. Woo! Yeah, just walking through some uh, geothermal vents. There's a dell, you can kind of see everybody. It's kind of fun. Don't want to fall in. I mean, there's the vents right there. Just again, geothermal energy right here. What's up guys, Mr. Mac here. Um, we're here at Kilauea Iki. Um, this is a volcano, uh, it is active. It's not a actively erupting right now, but the last eruption here was in 1959 where they had a huge fountain of lava that was going up to almost 2000 feet, shooting lava into the air, building this lava lake. And uh, it, you know, it's not a lava lake now, but this is one of the places you can actually see people. There's a trail down there. It's one of the hikes that we try and do on our student trip. But uh, this is uh, kind of what's going on with the volcano glow at Haleamauumau, is you have this lava lake of molten rock and blah, 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 and then it cools and solidifies. So um, this is just a phenomenal view here. Just wanted to show you an example of a, um, a lava, lava lake, caldera crater area, volcano. Yeah. <laughs>